All right, cool. So this is video is going to show you how to set up the lighting system um, using three Slimpar 38 Chave DJ DMX lights, using a Chave Obey 70 lighting board, and then you're going to need three DMX cables. Um, you got to make sure they're DMX cables, not just standard microphone XLR cables. You're going to need uh, three standard power plugs and a power strip. Well, you don't necessarily need the power strip, but it's a good idea if you can. All right, cool. So, the very first thing that we want to do is we want to provide power to all of our lights. So, on the back of the Chevet, on the back of the Chevet 38, we have the power in, which is going to be a standard IAC jack, which we just plug in like this. And then we would plug that into our strip. Now it's a good idea to have our strip powered off while we do this. So now we have a uh, power connection going to the first light here. So now the cool thing about these lights and a lot of DMX lights is what we can do now is we can get our power coming out of the first slim power 38. We'll have a series power configuration where then we can provide power to the next light in series here. Super cool. And then likewise, we have to power the last light. Well, let's zoom out a little bit. We've got to power the last light. And we put the power cord in here. And then we also have the option to have a parallel power configuration where this one's going directly into the strip, or it could be a different wall outlet. These two are connected in series, where it's going from one plug to this one and then that one or we can just have them all in series. This depends on whatever makes the most sense for your certain s for your current setup. Uh, the one thing to consider is you can't have more than, oh, maybe 20 or 30 of these guys without having to do some math and make sure you're not drawing more current uh, than the system can handle. But fantastic. So now they all have power going to them. The next thing we want to do is we want to connect the DMX signal. So I like to work from the very last light back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my DMX cable and I'm going to put it in the DMX in of the last light. I'm going to take the other end of my cable and put it in the DMX out of my second light. I'm going to take my second DMX cable here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cable on the ground just for the purpose of what we're doing here with just kind of lighting the curtain or lighting the table and get my cable out of the way I don't have to worry about it and then we'll do the same thing for this sucker so we'll have our DMX in here go I have the DMX out of the first one so now we have a DMX signal going from the first second to the third and then our last cable, we'll just move our, this cable here on the ground. The last cable that we have, which I'm going to put on the ground, and just grab the segments that I need. We're going to put the female end into the DMX end. Put our cable wrap on the ground. And then now, we want to take the Chave Obey 70. Give us a focus, all right. So, what we need to do is we need to hit the menu button. And if we're using seven, ch seven channel operation, then we are gonna hit the menu button until we hit seven CH. Oh, I went past it. All right. Then we're going to use up and down to figure out what we want the address to be. So address 1 because this is the first one and then the next one would be address 8 because when we're, when we're in a channel 7 system we're using up 7 channels per light. So this light is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The next one is 8 upwards. I recommend for beginners use channel 3 or 3 channel operation. It's much easier to use and control. So we'll do that for this. 
And then I'm going to hit up and down until I get 1. I want the address for my first letter to be 1. And I'm going to hit enter. And that's going to save what the address is. And then we're good to go. Alright, sweet. So now I'm going to move to my next light here. Here. So now we're going to hit menu until we get to 3CH. And we're going to hit up until we have an address of 7. Hit enter. That address is saved. We're good to go. Alright, awesome. So now that we have the addresses saved on our lights, the next thing that we can do is we can turn. Fantastic. So now that we have the addresses assigned to our 3DMX lights in channel 3 operation, we can turn on our Obey 70. It's going to turn on into blackout mode by default, so it's going to turn off all the lights. But what we can do is we can activate some channels down here. We can turn off blackout mode move some sliders around, and we should have control over our lights. Alright.